Hey guys, here we are at the London Dairy Fish and Game Club today and we're doing what we call our very own Pepsi Challenge. Uh, one of the things that's really hard to show in a video is uh, the crispness, uh, the lightness of a trigger. While we can show you on a trigger gauge, it's a completely different uh, perspective when you put the gun in someone's hands who may not be as experienced and they can tell the difference between the trigger. So we've got a couple of participants today to come down, um, try out a stock gun, try out our tandemized gun and try one with the brand new Thunder Hammer and tell us uh, with their words the experience with the gun. Um, and what we're hoping to get, what we're hoping to capture is a, a real experience um, of, of what it's like uh, to pick up uh, a gun with a thunder hammer and feel the difference. Um, so let's get started and see what the results are. My name is Zach Klimas and uh, I'm from Amherst, New Hampshire. Hi, my name's Keith. I'm here today to test the thunder hammer from Tandem Cross. Own guns for... 20 something years now. When I was a kid, I was always outside hunting. I own everything from pistols to shotguns. I have a shotgun, a rifle, and a 22 to shoot cans and stuff with. 22s, 22 target rifles. I've never shot any gun with aftermarket parts on it. I definitely appreciate a more accurate, lighter, smoother trigger. So I'm curious if this aftermarket hammer can improve, improve that for me. Ready, shooter ready, ready, stand by, go. How did the trigger feel for you? I thought it felt pretty good uh, without having anything to compare it to. Uh, like I said, I've never shot an aftermarket trigger, so I'm excited to see how you can improve on that. It felt pretty clean. I wouldn't say it was extraordinary in any way, but uh, it, it felt reliable and uh, as I said time will tell and we'll, we'll see how it goes with uh, the other hammers and, and the other triggers. Great well let's kick it up a notch. All right. All right. That's like cheating. All right Zach we just did round two with a tandemized victory. Um, we've got almost all the parts in there except the thunder hammer. How was that compared to the stock gun that you just shot? Uh, I noticed a bit of a difference. The, the biggest thing I noticed was there was less travel for the trigger. Uh, I would call it light, but uh, when it decides to pull, there's no in between. It's either going or it's not. You know what I mean? It's a very clean break. It was almost like cheating. <laughs> if you thought that was cheating, wait to see what we got for you next. I can't wait. Keith, you just did your third round of shooting with the uh, the victory, this time with the Thunder Hammer and the gun. Mm -hmm. You know, you mm -hmm. directly compared it from the uh, stock gun yep. to the one with the Thunder Hammer. What's your impression? Describe to the audience the difference. I thought it was night and day. Any less weight on that trigger, I would say would be too little, but any more, I think would be not negligible. So you're saying it's perfect? I'm saying it's as perfect as I would feel perfect can get. If you were to uh, step up as a competitive shooter, which gun would you want in your hands? Absolutely the one with a thunder hammer, no doubt. Guys, you just saw it here. Two uh, inexperienced shooters who don't know Tandem Cross, don't know the market well, taste testing the variety of different triggers and combinations, and especially the thunder hammer. This thing is great. These guys could definitely tell the difference and you will be able to. In just a few days, this product is going to be live. Uh, make sure you get one right away. We're going to try really hard to keep them in stock, but we know the demand is high. Uh, so keep on shooting. Mm -hmm.